Hey, hey, Solid Mustang coming at you here. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everybody's having a nice time and everything else, getting ready for the holidays. Got 45 subscribers now. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Um, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Prestige and is it worth it? Um, hmm. It's a good question. I'm not really sure if it is. But uh, anyways, I try. You notice I've already prestiged once. I was going to try to do it in video the first time around, so I only had to prestige once. Totally screwed up the video. <laughs> and unfortunately, that means I had to go all the way back, get back up to 55, and do this all over again. So, so here we are. All right. So with prestige, what do you get? You get a extra slot. To do uh, create a class, your custom classes, and you get a little icon next to your name, and you get a little uh, calling card. That is really it. The nice thing about it is it does not reset all your stuff. So, anyways, hit start, right bumper over to barracks, and in the bottom right hand corner, there you be. Here's where you prestige at. Took me a little bit even to find this thing the first time around. So, prestige mode, like I said, I'll let you read that up there on the right. But what it means is basically your guns don't reset, you get all your camos, your specialist does not reset, you get all your head pieces, your chest pieces, and gestures, and yada yada yada. All that extra stuff they probably shouldn't put in Call of Duty in the first place. But that is for another video. So when I hit that, enter Prestige 2, here we go. Congratulations, I am Prestige 2, yay. All right, first thing you want to do, permanent unlocks. Up to you, I have some suggestions. You can do a weapon, an M8A7, very good weapon. Um, be able to permanently unlock it, probably not a bad thing. It's a lot like the M16 from COD4. If you want to do the Razorback, maybe, yeah. There's other good SMGs or whatever weapon you would want. Lethal tactical? No. Any of the specialist things? No. Not worth it. Perks, though, on the other hand, can be game changers. My first one, Ghost. Ghost keeps you off the uh, radar. That's not a bad thing. Um, Scavenger is also not a bad thing. Picking up weapons, picking up ammo. That can help you out a lot. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, one thing I've noticed, you know, is people sound whoring, using the awareness. So I'm telling you right now, if you want to prove your KDR, here's where you go. Dead silence. Get dead silence. Everybody's got these Turtle Beach or whatever headsets, these big headsets, with the surround sounds, and everything else. This is where you want to go. Okay? So equip that. Get that. That's where I'm going with my unlock here. If you want one of these wild cards, so be it. But I really don't think that's worth it either. I say go to the perks. You definitely don't want any score streaks. Let's face it, the score streaks in this game are so-so at best. Um, especially, I run a lot of TDM. Not really worth it. Refund. Don't do this either. Um, restart. If you really want to start all over and you do lose everything, that's where that would be. You start as you have nothing. So, careful of all that. So let's go up here to create a class. Show you what I'm talking about here. You can see I got seven now custom classes instead of the five, two extra for my prestiges. And you can see I have all my camos, all my unlocks with the KN44. And uh, so, guys, you're not going to lose everything. If you're all more worried about that, don't worry about it. My CUDA. I love my CUDA. So you can 
mix it up however you want. Usually get rid of that because I got ghost. I don't need to shoot down the UAVs. Um, but I do appreciate when other people do. So we'll get into the hard wire here in a little bit. But there you go. There's going to be kind of my basic setup. Man, I got some spots left. Um, let's get up in here. So that. And suppressor. I also like going a quick draw with uh, the CUDA. That's actually pretty nice. A lot of times what I do is one mode is a silent. The other one is loud. Depending on how, how the game's going. So. Um. What were we talking about? Oh, okay. Hardwired. Hardwired. You really want this perk too. You really want this one going. This is my green perk. And you can see why. Counter UAVs. Power core, which is useless. EMP grenades. Smoke screens. All that won't affect you. You can walk past trip mines and shock charges. You know how all those people put out a little mine and they put out the shark, shock charge right next to it? Run right by it and kill the SOB who's camping behind it. Seriously, gets ridiculous. Also, the tracker, which by the way is a pretty good perk, and the sixth sense, you'll be on top of them before you, they pick you up. So that's pretty cool. So, anyways, that's kind of where I'm going here. Uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to do with all my different classes. I will probably figure that out later. It says I have something unlocked here. Yeah, I must have picked one up. So. Anyways, is prestiging worth it? It's completely up to you. If you want to do it, you want everything, you want to lock everything, then yeah, go ahead and do it. For me, I'm happy with where I'm at. The seven customs will be plenty. I think I was fine with five. If I wasn't making this video, I probably would never have done it. So it's completely up to you, but, you know... I would say if you're more into it just to play the game, then no. But if you want all the unlocks, yeah, you're going to go through it all. So anyways, I hope that helps you. Uh, hopefully this is a decent video to show you how to prestige. And remember, on your permanent unlock, choose something of a very high rank. Thanks a lot for watching. Solid Mustang, got your six.